For now, I have used the authenticated middleware only to two routes, profile and users. Suppose we want to apply the authenticated middleware to settings as well. What should we do? Well, we can still say here, middleware authenticated. And let me also bring this back here to authenticated, the profile, okay. All right, so I am authenticated and if I go and I will visit settings, no problem. The only issue here is that settings was used to learn how to use a blade. This is why we have a different kind of view with a different menu, but this is not a problem. In this video, we want to learn how to use route groups. So just go back and log out. So I will go here and I will log out. Because we applied the authenticated middleware to settings as well, whenever you try to access settings without being authenticated, well, you should be redirected back to login. Let's take a look at the web file. I don't know about you, but I just applied the authenticated middleware three times here in the settings and also in the users. And this is just for the tutorial. What if this was a real project? What if the authenticated route should be applied to 100 routes? Do we go and manually write middleware authenticated every single time? And what about when you have to apply two middlewares on a route? Do we do something like this, for example? Authenticated and then another middleware? Well, we could, but let's try to follow best practices. I will bring this back. And I will tell you an easier way to apply middlewares to multiple routes. Create a route group, and I like to have my route groups at the end of the file. So just go at the end of the file and say here, route group. Route groups can have attributes, so let's create an array. And the key will be middleware. The value will be authenticated. Except the attributes, we also need a closer, so function, and this is our closer. Let me change the width of my screen. Okay, perfect. So as you can imagine, what I did here is to create a bucket for all the routes that are using the authenticated middleware. This is what a route group is. It is a bucket and you put inside all the routes that have the same attributes. For example, we have three routes using the same middleware. What we can do about this is to take the routes and put them inside this route group or inside this bucket, if you want it like that. The reason, all three routes, they share the same middleware. Cut the routes and uh, paste them inside the route group. Now, you don't need to specify the middleware that each route is using, simply because we have specified it right here for all the routes. So let me delete all the middlewares that I have for each route. As you can see now, we only have routes with URI and just the axiom. The application should work in the same way. Let's try to access the settings URI, for example. Yep, I'm not authenticated and I cannot access settings. Now let's authenticate and try again. So if I go to settings, Okay, now we do. Before I close this video, please open a new tab on your terminal and run php artisan route list. This will list all the routes in your application. What do we got here? Well, first of all, we have the method or the HTTP verb that is used for each route. Then you got the URI, the name of the route, the axiom and the middleware. For example, the routes that we have inside the route group are profile, settings, and users. You can verify here that all those three routes have the authenticated middleware applied. If you wanted to apply another middleware, you could just open brackets and include another middleware inside there. So, another middleware. If we go back and we rerun the command, you get the new middleware as well, which is the another middleware for each of the routes that are inside the route group. Of course, that middleware doesn't exist, but this is in case you want to apply more than one middleware. And remember, middlewares are executed in order. 
So first we execute web, then we execute authenticated, and then another middleware. The last middleware, of course, doesn't exist, so let me just delete it. So I will just go here and delete this. Perfect. I will run the command one last time to make sure that everything works. Okay, everything is back. 